Hello, hello, we have big time news today. Big stuff, big hair, big news, big time. So my daughter is going to a concert, why don't we? Which, by the way, we had a blast at. It was really, really cute. But she wanted big curly hair. So her friend did her hair with another iron. I mean, holy, can you can you talk to, talk to me about like, how that must feel. <laughs> you guys want to talk about life lessons? That is a life lesson watching that happen. So anyway, um, you know, she was like, well, she didn't think, you know, the iron could do really curly curls. And I was like, what? You don't think the iron can get curly curls? Well, so my epiphany is that people may not know that you can get curly curls just because I don't prefer them on me. <laughs> people don't get to see it a lot. So anyway, today I'm doing the ultimate sacrifice, which is curling my hair very curly for you so that you can get big hair and big curls if that's what you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and since when I, when I want bigger curls, I take my hair and part it over to the side so I can curl the underneath. Ooh, I look like I have a comb over. Okay, so um, I take the underneath and leave that out so that I can then get bigger curls. And um, you can take a bit smaller sections. Now there's a bunch of different ways to get big curls. So let's, let's see what um, I get from the first one. I can't even remember the last time I did curly curls. Like, oh my goodness, it's gonna be crazy. Oh. But I have to prove to those of you who do not know that this can get curly curled. Everything you do makes a difference, right? How I tip my iron, how much I'm rotating it. You see how much the hair is gliding on the back of it. If I was doing a, a less curly curl, I'll show you the next one. I'll make one that's not as curly so you can see. Okay, so let me show you how I normally curl. I do more of a lean back and then you can see the difference in how it's running on the iron. See, it's very different. And then I, whoops, I was trying to show you. And then I drop out the ends like that. So you see how the difference is? This looks way longer and more lean. And this is full because I'm pushing forward on the iron. So now I'll push forward again. And you see the difference? So yeah, big difference. And curly curls, boom. It's gonna be fabulous. In this curl, I'm pushing forward. In the other curl, curl, I'm pulling forward. So that's that lean back curl I've been teaching for a while, is my iron looks more like this, and now it looks more like this. So that's the difference in my angle. See how this is coming really forward? And look at my hand turning. And then in the other one, it's like this. So I don't really even turn my hand as much. What temperature are you using? I'm using 375 right now. I could easily do, um, I don't know, I, I, don't, I haven't done curly curls in a while, so I don't know if I could do 325, because that's what I do for my lean back curls, is 325, because I just want to um, change up the, the look of it and how I want it to look. Okay, and for those of you who like more of a, the yeah, the wands, yeah, so I'm going to show you more of a wand kind of curl. like just littler and more even. So a lot of people um, don't curl from back to front like this, but I, I find for those of you with super long hair, I think this is a really good trick for you to, to do this so you don't have to keep going through and throwing hair back and forth. I've, you know, when I would do um, FaceTime sessions with girls, they, a lot of them would do that. They would really, you know, like, it was really tricky to watch them navigate their hair because it was so long. And if they just curled from back to front like this, it would save them a lot of hassle. And I'll show you how. So you wrap the hair, and then once you put it like this, and you can throw it back over your shoulder, and then it'll catch the curls back there, and they'll just cool back there. So then eventually you're not working with near as much hair. Oh, yeah, see? How you cannot sort it very good? <laughs> I've watched so many girls, and they like, take one section out and then they throw all this hair back and then they curl it again and then they're like throwing this one back and then sectioning and doing all this. And all of that like causes you to have to brush more and do a lot of you know different things that you don't have to do. You can just take the section, brush it, just ignore all of this and then you just, oh, it's caught on my foot, sorry. Okay, so then you just go in and I find on this side, if you turn your head just a bit, it helps you get the curl more even. We'll, we'll see how that works out. 
because that one was where I turned my head, and I think that's more even to the other side than the ones previous to it, because I wasn't, because I needed to turn away so that I could get the, uh, what's the word I need? The angle I, I, I need to get the curl I want on this side. Um, how do you curl next to the root? So the best thing is, is go slow, and as you're putting it in, you can go ahead and start turning real slow because that hair takes a little longer to heat, right? But that's where we usually go the fastest. So you can get closer to the root by doing that. If I was doing lean back curl on the left side, I would be doing this. So this is going to be a lean back curl. That's what I normally do, something more like this, more long and lean, okay? And then I'll show you the next one, which is big and curly. So I lean back and then I push forward like that. And then on this one, to, I'm rotating close to the scalp and I'm really staying close to my head and I'm moving forward. And I'm rotated a lot more than I was the other way. I, I used to do my hair like this all the time when I first started but I've just been so into the lean back curls. We'll see if this wins me over again. What do you think? Okay, so you wanna be more horizontal and less vertical. And so I was just kind of following the shape of my head on the left side, which then gets you um, a more, a more um, lean curl than full curl. Oh, now I might've outdone done the other side, but we'll see. We'll see how it all comes together in the end. I try not to be too judgy in the middle because you can always you know, change it a little bit. So nice and horizontal, just barely tipped. And that's it. Okay, so more curly curls. Let's see. And then you can kind of judge how it looks, see what you need to change, see what you want to adjust. For big hair, right? I dropped my big time, one second. So, you know, if I need more volume at the roots, what I wanna do is go in and I wanna go a little bit slower here and turn more. And that should lead you to a more big volume at the root curl, yeah. And then I'll pick up that one other piece, wherever that is, I think it's right here. I might continue a little bit more just to keep it nice and full. And if your hair is already curly right here, you only have to curl to that section. I'll show you how. So you go in, rotate slowly. You don't need to squeeze tight or anything. You're just rotating slowly and making sure your angle is right. And then that's how you get closer to the root. All right, so that's how you get curly curls with the time iron. And yeah, that's the difference. It's just a little bit, it's just continuing through to the ends. And then, you know, making sure that you rotate more and watching your angles. More horizontal gets more big Victoria's Secret. More vertical gets you a little bit more lean curl, like, <clears throat> like these. How do you go in and, you know, adjust this? So if you want really big hair, right? So if you want to go in, I could barely even section that because that big time I put in there before. So you're just going and spray it tease it a little bit and by teasing I mean just like act like you're shampooing the hair because that's you know how you create the hair gathering and like forming together with what the big time spray does like I could spray closer if I want a really grippy feel and I can spray further away if I want it to be a little bit softer um, and then if you were a person that you know, your hair, like, you don't like how it looks throughout here in the day, you can go in and you can spray that as well. Oh, whoops, I think I turned that, it's funny. But you can go in and spray that as well, and that will create grip down here for it to stay more big and full, depending on how you want it to look, so. Thanks for joining me for curly hair, big hair today. Let's go big time, woo! It's been a long time. <laughs> Thanks, bye.